Hi, my name is Dave and I am a bird nerd. Welcome to my community, Bird Sculptors and Painters. Okay, here are all the beautiful brushes that I use to paint on my birds. Uh, this one at the top, that's the real granddaddy here. This one's real expensive, about 30 to 50 cents. I just use that to seal or prime my birds and then I throw them away. So after that, I've sort of got them left to right here um, based on the order in which I paint with, and that's not exact. But this first one, sometimes I will use a big brush like this if I have to paint really large areas on a bird. Um, I don't use that real often. I usually use this flat instead. Um, I should note they're all shiny because they're oily and that has to do with how I clean my brushes, but that's not important for this video. So this flat does most of the work for me, um, just in terms of you know larger areas, because you'd be surprised how quickly you can put paint down. So when I go to the grisaille step on my birds, I use this big, uh, it's a watercolor mop, and I use it to flatten down and make sure that there's no like mountains or anything on, you know, in between my paint colors. So I use it for that. And I also use this big brush when I'm doing um, what, what is often called a big blend. So I will actually stipple blend with it and uh, you know, to transition from one color to another if I'm blending over a very large area. So that's what that mops for. Okay, the real workhorse of all my bird painting is these three brushes here, well, plus this flat. But essentially, um, I use this brush here, this round brush. Let's see if I can get the camera to focus on it. I use this round brush here to paint all of my lines, whether they are, you know, uh, fatter lines, these aren't real fat, but fatter lines, or itty bitty bitty lines like these. So that brush I use to paint those lines. And then once they're painted, I will often do some blending with this sable brush, the sable around here, or this fan here. So I don't really like long handled brushes, but this fan, and again, they, it's usually soft, but it's oily right now. This fan is one I like the long handling because I will actually use the whole length of this thing to just softly, softly blend something. So other than that, I pretty much like those short handle brushes. Okay, so rather than spouting off all the brush model names, uh, numbers and sizes and getting it completely wrong, I've got a link in the description below this video where you can fill your shopping cart up with those brushes. Now, if you use my link, it will help me keep the lights on, but I promise you, I am not getting rich off this video. And if I do, I think what I will do is take all of the commenters on this video and spread the love and we'll all ride around in our private jets and cruise on our yachts and be fancy world travelers. So happy clicking. If you enjoyed this tip, hit the subscribe button. Then you'll know when I upload more of the good stuff. You should probably also consider joining my community, bird sculptors and painters. There's a link in the description below this video and that will get you all the best tips and tricks delivered straight to your inbox, as well as updates on all the courses that I offer. I look forward to supporting you in your journey to Total Bird Nerd. Thank you.